Radiation leaked from Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant Sunday, according to official reports that emerged Tuesday. According to the leaked documents of the Ukraine State Service for Emergency Situations, the permissible level of radiation at the plant exceeded the norm by 16 times on Sunday. By Monday, the level has slightly increased, growing from 16.3 to 16.8 times higher, and Unit 6 was still shut down. The report said, contradicting the plant's statements, that the problem had been fixed and that the plant was operating normally. Workers at the plant were reportedly trying to replace Russian fuel rods with US ones when the leak occurred. We remember, according to Ukrainian media, Ukraine signed a contract in Brussels on Tuesday with the US company Westinghouse to increase supplies of its nuclear fuel to Ukraine's nuclear power plants. Today in Brussels there will be signed an agreement with Westinghouse on additional supplies of nuclear fuel for Ukrainian nuclear power plants. We used to be totally dependent on Rosatom in the past, but now we are diversifying. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said at his year-end press conference in Kyiv. Considering that fact, we can suggest that the the reason of radioactive leak at Zaporozhye nuclear power plant was criminal actions of the Ukrainian government and the US company Westinghouse. The introduction of new sanctions by the United States against a number of Russian citizens calls into question cooperation with Washington on the Iranian nuclear program, the Syrian crisis and other issues. Such steps will not be left without a response, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Alexander Lukashevich said on Tuesday. Seeking to end of the outgoing year on a high anti-Russian note, Washington has come out with a new burst of sanctions against our citizens and organization, the diplomat said. Washington is again using double standards, holding human rights demands against us and simultaneously turning a blind eye to the far from ideal situation in the human rights sphere in the United States, where secret services until recently have been given the right to apply medieval-style torture methods and policemen are still killing people with impunity only because they have a different color of the skin," he added. Earlier, the United States has imposed sanctions against four Russian officials. The officials were sanctioned by U.S. State Department on Monday for alleged human rights violations. The officials are Deputy Prosecutor General Victor Green and Investigator Andrei Strizov. Two senior officials of the Chechen Republic have also entered the list over alleged kidnapping and torture of an activist. The individuals are banned from traveling to the United States. Any assets they hold under U.S. jurisdiction are also liable to be Blocked. There are now 34 names on the sanctions list. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.